It never surprises me just how much the government has come up with ideas for trying to save a bit of global warming. And another scheme, I'm sure you've read about it, has just been announced, uh, I think, to start next year. And they're making the preparations for it, of course, and it's going to be rolled out. And again, like all these things, it seems that there's nothing that we can do about it. And the government has said that these measures are going to save huge amounts of global warming, saving the planet. And we, as the people of this country, have just got to put up with it. And it just seems, I don't know, it just seems outrageous to me that they could even conceive that this would would help. Although they say that as soon as they make these implementations, or I would say impositions, um, there's going to be a lot of energy saved, a lot of carbon going into the planet will, will be um, reduced and it's all going to be okay. And, you know, I don't know what you're going to feel about this, but it just seems like we're under attack all the time. What with all the other different measures that we've spoken about on this channel, this to me just seems, I don't know, it's the straw that's going to break the back, I think, and people are going to be extremely upset when this happens. And I know reading the article, uh, that I mentioned um, th that people will just be up in arms and people already, already certain bodies have, have started to complain and say it's just going to be beyond the pale. And of course I'm talking about the, the scheme that the government want to run and that is from in the evenings, uh, and this really, they say it's only going to be in the evenings and let's hope that is, that between the hours of 12 o'clock midnight till 6 o'clock um, in the morning they're going to turn off gravity. Now, this does seem on the face of it, you know, quite a sensible thing if people are tucked up in bed, and I hope they are completely tucked up in bed because obviously uh, they may find themselves floating up towards the ceiling, which would be very awkward. But people like the um, Automobile Association, they've come out and said that this is very concerning for them because a lot of their members are unable to park their cars in the evening uh, into, say, multi-storey car parks or garages because um, those that have to park them on the street, uh, unless they've wait, weighted their cars down, which is another reason you think they want to push us towards electric cars with extremely heavy batteries, is that the, some of the cars may not actually be there in the morning, that when you come back you may find that your car has actually floated away. Now, the government have said that they're not going to entirely switch off gravity, it will be a gradual thing, they'll slowly by degrees. So if you happen to be out and about uh, after midnight and you feel a little bit weightless, then you're advised immediately to either cling to a lamp post or a telegraph pole or go inside at the nearest place that you can, if you can find a garden shed or anything, as long as that garden shed, of course, is cemented down. And this is another issue that a lot of people are having is how much um, stuff is actually bolted to the floor. Um, gardens, for example, is another thing that's likely to find that uh, very lightweight things, so perhaps a children's tricycle or a plastic uh, amusement, like a slide, may have also disappeared and have floated up into the atmosphere. And then who knows what? Does it leave the atmosphere? Is it going to continue into space? Will that be a problem for satellites? Who knows whether that is the situation? Now, there was a spokesman who had been working on this system and they were testing it out. Unfortunately, they did test it out outside and he's no longer available for comment for some reasons. Uh, the National Union of Sailors have been very upset because people who have boats, they're wondering if the boats are the anchor will be sufficiently strong enough to keep their boats uh, anchored to the seabed or whether they'll find their, their yachts and various ships um, floating up. It depends how much of gravity is actually switched off. Uh, container ships, of course, may find that the, while the ships are still buoyant on the sea, that the cargo, these containers themselves, may indeed have lifted off. Again, it could be very dangerous. Uh, the uh, the airports and the air, the what do you call it, the people who fly aeroplanes, the, those sort of people, the pilots and other people, they're rather nervous because 
of course, the last thing they want to do is, I mean, it's bad enough for them navigating birds in the sky, but if they've also got to navigate uh, all sorts of detritus that has lifted up off the ground, that can, of course, cause various accidents. And so the government has said, well, we would just ground as much as we can all flights at night, um, which may or may not fit in with uh, other airports and international flights and things like that. Uh, but they seem to be going into negotiations with all sorts of things in that area. Trains, of course, have been advised that they will need to be parked in tunnels, otherwise various carriages may find themselves all over the place. Um, the Coast Guard has said uh, that they're very perturbed by this concept, uh, but the government has said they'd already thought of that. They've got this plan in which uh, they're going to put a whole load of life jackets and uh, little rubber dinghies, self-inflatable rubber dinghies, I believe, um, on the ends of 500 foot ropes, which will be uh, bolted into the ground all around the coastal area of England and Wales and Scotland, so that should anybody happen to be lifted up during those hours, perhaps they've come back from the pub and they haven't managed to get home or they can't find a lamppost or for whatever reason. And if there's a wind, of course, and gravity has pulled them into the air, then as they float uh, out of, if, if it's a windy day, they float out of the country, they should be able to grab hold of a life jacket or a life raft so that when the gravity is switched off in the morning, at least when they come crashing down into perhaps the North Sea or the Atlantic or wherever, they will be able to swim back to shore. At least that's how they have planned it. Uh, I'm not quite sure that most of these people will actually be able to do that. And then what happens at six o'clock um, when the gravity is going to be turned back on again and those things that are floating about in the, uh, in the atmosphere come crashing down? Well, of course, every household will be issued with a steel hat, one of those uh, hard hats that you saw in the Second World War, tin hat. Now, these won't be the tin foil ones because you need something a little bit more substantial, apparently. So the, uh, the old World War tin hats that you remember that your granddad or his dad used to wear will be issued, each one will be issued. Of course, those in the building trade have already got hard hats, so they probably can save a bit of money on that by using those. Um, and of course, you will be, for that, just that first hour or so, just be a bit careful as you make your way. Uh, there will be special trucks, of course, to make sure that the roads are clear uh, from all the stuff that's fallen down. Although, to be honest with you, um, people probably won't be able to travel because, as the AA chap has already said, that most of the cars will probably have floated out of the atmosphere and disappeared into space. And some critics say that this is really just a way, uh, it's either the government's idea to sort of get rid of cars altogether, buses, trains and all of that, so that we will, of course, be locked down in our houses, particularly at night for fear of floating away. Or indeed, it is the, uh, the road sweepers uh, union who think that all the rubbish that's gathered up on the grass verges, on the motorways and things, it's just a way of clearing those. Although I'm, I'm not really sure that the government have spent all this money investigating how to turn gravity off just to clear a little bit of detritus from the roads. But anyway, this, as you can see, is a completely worrying situation. And uh, if it is implemented next year, I think that we're going to see a lot of people full of hot air, uh, although it may just be the gravity that's lifting them up off the ground. Um, so again, another bit of oppression, or the opposite of oppression, because that keeps you down, doesn't it? Um, so they're advising for people to get uh, very heavy boots so that when you're walking about, you've got these sort of moon boots and probably best to invest in a space suit. So there we go. That is, uh, that's the, the, the latest thing that the government are going to be implementing. It is, a, of course, an, a, a, an absolutely dreadful situation. And if it wasn't for the fact that it was the 1st of April um, and that these things often get blown out of proportion and other people come up with all sorts of nonsense that, you know, might be attributed to April Fool, if it wasn't for the fact that, that it was, as I say, the 1st of April, I wouldn't believe a word of it. Would you?